Hello everybody, Onyx I here. Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of American Truck Simulator. We are still running the Coast to Coast mod as well as the I-10 mod and a couple other map mods. But we um, we didn't have many jobs to choose from in Fayetteville, North Carolina where we dropped our last load off. So I made the short hop over here to Raleigh, North Carolina and uh, we're picking up a load here. As you can see, we are headed to Norfolk, Virginia. Um, it's paying only about $6,500. It's a little short load, but all the rest of them were extremely long. And I'm trying not to, uh, you know, keep you guys tied to a video for 45 minutes. So, kind of limited on where we can go. But let's go ahead and fire this baby up. We'll hop out. And we're going to take a peek. As you can see, it's some heavy equipment. I do like hauling some heavy equipment because that means we can do this, folks. We can turn on those rotators. It's not technically a wide load, but hey, it's wide enough. We're going to go ahead and fire it up and head on out. So uh, for those of you that like these American Truck Simulator videos, I'm not sure if you've seen the, uh, the video or videos. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to have up by the time this one goes out. Um, but I've got some videos recorded and in the bag for Farming Simulator 2017. It's, uh, it's surprisingly fun, guys, and uh, I'm going to be putting some of that out on the channel for you guys to enjoy. Let's get out here without having an accident. As you know, I have too many accidents in my uh, ATS series. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can make it all the way there without any kind of a wreck. No promises. But I will definitely give it a try. Still fighting a little bit with this sinus junk. I, I think it must be allergy related. Um, I never had allergies as a child, but as an adult, good God. Uh, coming common. Looks like I may have to resort to getting me some Zyrtec or something, folks. That way you don't have to list, listen to the raspy voice and, uh, you know, coughing and sneezing and sniffing like a little snotty-nosed kid. But, uh, we also did the uh, live stream, 200 subscriber special live stream. Thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done that already, please consider doing that. Uh, I would love to have you as part of the family as well. The uh, 200 plus subscriber live stream we did uh, was, it aired on uh, live on Tuesday night uh, with the Cuffs crew, uh, some of the Cuffs crew anyway, it was myself. Uh, Dark Meyer, Buddha Rocks, and the Prone Guy. <clears throat> and we did a uh, Cuffs Patrol in Polito Bay with the Polito Bay Police Department. I started off running and then uh, Dark Meyer ran and then Buddha Rocks ran for a little bit. It was fun. If you haven't watched it yet, you really want to do that. I had a great time with that. We cut up as usual, you know, typical cuff stuff. And uh, had some great people hopping on the stream to uh, to watch and hang out with us in the chat. Thank you there, FedEx truck, for not letting me over, asshole. I have these flashing lights on for a reason. It means get the hell out the way. Onyx can't drive, and I'm trying to get somewhere. All right, well, I'm doing okay keeping it between the lines for the most part so far. Uh, we're only doing 55 miles per hour though. Um, this looked like the largest engine that I currently can get for this truck. Um, it's just going to struggle a little bit with some of this heavier, uh, some of these heavier loads and runs that we have to do. All right, come on. Here we go. We're getting up there a little bit. We're up to a whole 56 miles per hour now. I got all these people past me like I'm sitting still. Uh, back down to 55 lord jesus 
Um, I do want to eventually make it to New York City. Um, I've never been to New York, anywhere in the entire state, actually. Um, I have been to uh, Washington, D.C. I flew into the Washington Dulles Airport there, been to West Virginia, um, up that way a little bit, uh, through the edge of Pennsylvania, I believe, um, back years ago when I was uh, a child visiting my dad when he lived up there and my sister and my stepmom but um, <clears throat> never been to New York uh, you know 40 years old never been to New York City I know I'm, I'm missing out but I've been to the New York City of the South folks I've been to New Orleans Louisiana <laughs> um, I know it's not it's nowhere near the same but uh, you know that's the uh, I'm gonna pull off here and get some gas at the Chevron just because I'm at about half a tank. I want to make sure that I don't have any surprises. We do not want to uh, run out of gas on the highway here. Got to get this load delivered. Let's go ahead and shut the engine off and start filling her up. So um, I went through with um, with Farming Simulator 2017, I went ahead and went through and added a bunch of country music to that because it just seemed to fit. Um, and so you'll, you'll probably notice from time to time we may get a little more country music in our rides in American Truck Simulator because for American Truck Simulator right now I have it set to use all of my music as opposed to just the country music <clears throat> like I do for Farming Simulator. So it's going to get a little bit of everything. Um, kind of change it up a little bit keep it different while we're out on the road you know when you're out riding um, you pick up one one radio station for a while and then you have to find another one that works unless of course you have XM or uh, Sirius satellite radio or wh whichever ones even exist anymore I don't know I uh, I don't use those any longer um, because I don't I don't drive a whole lot oh look here folks we're coming into Virginia welcome to Virginia Virginia is for lovers. Yeah, there you go. You saw it there. But um, but anyway, you know, as you're riding along, you have to change stations a lot in your vehicle, and uh, I figure just having a whole whole slew of different musical genres in our rides in American Truck Simulator would kind of simulate that a little bit. And then, uh, you know, if you don't like one type of music, that way you're not stuck with having to listen to it. Every time I play this uh, this game, you'll get a little bit of a break from that kind and hear something different. But if you have any suggestions down there for styles of music, um, you know, let me know. I'll see what I can do. There's some types of music I just can't, uh, can't deal with, but uh, I'll see what I can do. I do have to find some that are copyright friendly for the channel, so... You know, we can't, uh, can't be playing any, uh, any Creedence Clearwater Revival or Leonard Skinner or anything like that, unfortunately, even though I'd love to. God knows riding along to some free bird would be freaking awesome. But, you know, we got to, uh, got to follow the rules and uh, don't want to infringe on, uh, on any copyrights. People work hard to record music and, uh, you know, record producers and all that stuff. Everybody needs to get paid for the job that they do, so I don't want to take any money out of anybody's pocket by uh, breaking the copyright laws. All right, we're taking this exit here. I have no idea what highway numbers we're on because I'm not familiar with this area. Sweet Jesus, slow it down. Good God, we're going to turn this son of a bitch over. All right, we're good. A little panic there. We're fine. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what highway we're on, so I can't really speak to that. Kind of give you a uh, geography lesson because I need a geography lesson of my own. But we've got, uh, got about 98 miles left on our run. And I'm going to, um, depending on how it lays over there, I would like to try the difficult parking setting on this one. Um, I'm getting a little bit better with the driving and the backing up of these trailers, so I'll give it a shot. Might give you something to laugh at. Hell, who knows, I might just pull it off and surprise everybody.
I tell you, this, this is a cool game, though, um, in itself. It's just, uh, it's relaxing. Shit, I'm running off the road. Um, but it's a relaxing game. It's a, a cool one just to jump in. Do a little short haul like we're doing right now if you want to, or if you... Good God, what am I doing? Oh, no wonder I'm doing 80 miles an hour. Jesus, slow it down. Um... You know, you can do long hauls if you want to and, and sit here for two or three hours making runs from one part of the country to the other. Um, and we may do that some every now and then on like a live stream or something like that. But for these episodes, I really need to try to keep them around 20 minutes or so in length. Anything longer than that is just, uh, just kind of overkill and nobody's going to really watch that all the way through. Although I do have some loyal uh, viewers at the, what the hell? Are we going underneath this thing? Oh God, this reminds me of the uh, the tunnel they got down in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, there's a tunnel there that you go under, it goes underneath the uh, Mobile Bay. It's all fun and games and stuff unless the leak breaks out and then God, I'd probably panic. So we're not that far from our drop-off. I probably need to be figuring out what lane I need to be in. Looks like it's going to be a right exit up here. <coughs> Norfolk discovered. So we've made it to the outskirts of Norfolk, Virginia. Get this heavy equipment dropped off. Hopefully uh, I can actually pull it off. But one way to find out, and that's to give it a shot, right? All right, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. All right, we'll pull on out here. Looks like we don't have far to go from here. I'm gonna be at this next light. Sun is starting to set on us. It looks like it is uh, Saturday, 8 p.m. in the game. All right, we can make a right turn on red, so uh, that is what we'll do. We'll turn green anyway, but if we don't get on out here, that uh, what is it called? Uh, UPS truck's going to turn in front of us. But here's our drop-off spot. See if we can do this. It looks like I can probably do this one, y'all. It looks like a fairly easy area to drop off no matter what. Let's see where they need it. All right, they need it backed into uh, to the shed over there, so we'll do that. Let's get her done. Oh. Great, it's right next to a fucking, oh, excuse my language, right next to a freaking forklift. Like they didn't know they had a delivery coming. Now see, if I was an actual truck driver and I pulled in, I'd make them move that. I'd tell them in a heartbeat, y'all got to move that, son. All right, let's turn the uh, flashers off just because that's a little difficult for me. Um, and that ain't gonna work, folks. What I'm gonna do is pull it over this way. We're gonna back it from over here. Let's ease her on in here. No need to get in a hurry. Getting in a hurry will cause me to wreck this thing. I'm gonna try not to skip it. All right, let's hit her kind of sharp here. Get a little bit more sharp there. Let's see if we can line her up.
think we got it semi lined up there. Looks like we might actually pull this off. They say they'll take it right there. I'm going to drop it right there. Awesome. All right, so we delivered the Digger 1000 from Raleigh, North Carolina to Norfolk, Virginia. Distance traveled was 278 miles. It took us five hours and 16 minutes in game. Made a uh, total income of $6,575 and earned 355 experience points. So that was pretty cool. Let's hop out one more time. I'm gonna turn these mirrors off here as well as the GPS. And we'll take a quick look at the uh, at the load. Look at what we accomplished, folks. Guys, I really do appreciate you riding along with me. That's gonna do it for this episode. Please be sure and hit that like button on your way out. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. I'd love to have you as one of my family and a ride along partner in my uh, American Truck Simulator series. With that being said, guys, this is Onyx. I headed out. Have a great one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.